Hey guys, we're now up to finding the maximum and minimum, minimum axial forces in member two. So just to remind you, here's our summary table. So we're now looking at this column and we're gonna be doing the load combinations. So load combinations for member two. Um, here's just a quick shot of everything we're gonna be doing. If you don't wanna, I'm just gonna be going through the calculations. If you don't want me to go through it, here's a quick shot of the answers. Okay, but we're gonna be going through it now. So. We have 1.35 G, so it's 1.35. Now G is 63.3, so times 63.3 gives us 85.4 in tension. Next one, 1.2 G, 1.5 Q, so 1.2, 63.3 1.5 times Q is 80, so 195. 0.96 that rounds to 196.0 in tension. The next one is 1.2 g win 1.4 q. Now, just to save a bit of time, it's smarter to store the values for 1.2 g plus 1.4 plus 0.4 q because that's going to appear there and there. So, just storing those two values. So, 1.2 g is 1.2 times 63.3 plus the 0.4 q component would be 0 0.4 times 80. Okay, we're gonna store that now. You'll see why, so then we just got alpha A, so th that value, plus win case one. Win case one is minus 66.7, so 41.3 in tension. This one is win case, it's the exact same one as before, except it's win case two. So we've already stored that value, so we just recall that value except for win case 2 we're going to be adding 66.7 so we get 174.7